Okay, so now let's uh, discuss some solution architecture when using SSL uh, with a load balancer. So we have this classic architecture where we have an auto scaling group and maybe an application load balancer uh, that has an SSL certificate loaded onto it. And thanks to the Amazon certificate manager, SCM. So our users are able to access our load balancer using HTTPS and then our load balancer can be set up to talk to our EC2 instances using HTTP protocol. Uh, this is something very simple, scalable and it works very well. Uh, it's classic but sometimes uh, you may want to set up a SSL directly on your web server EC2 instances. So here is an example, uh, we have a network load balancer, NLB and we have an auto scaling group that we just have a TCP connection to the NLB but we have decided to perform the HTTPS at the instance level. So uh, for uh, various reasons but this is the way it happens. So, so uh, you need to have an HTTPS connection happening from your EC2 instances and for it to work, you need to retrieve these SSL certificates onto these EC2 instances uh, for them to become an HTTPS web server. And so for this something uh, you can be doing, for example, in using user data scripts at the EC2 boot time uh, to retrieve certificates from the SSM parameter store and then load them, uh, load them onto your EC2 instances and obviously to retrieve these SSL certificates, they will need to be properly IAM role set it up for your EC2 instances and uh, then that would work. So and your EC2 instances would be able to provide HTTPS back to your users and that would really, that would work really well. Uh, but performing SSL encryption and decryption can uh, use up some of the valuable CPU resources on your EC2 instances. On top of it, you have to extract the SSL certificate out of your SSM parameter store and that may be some of, uh, somewhat of a risk problem. So if someone was able to SSH into your EC2 instances, uh, so certainly they could even get those SSM parameter. So something you can do though here in this case is like using the cloud HSM to do the SSL offloading. So we have the same architecture, the users talk to the NLB, network load balancer. Uh, which forwards the TCP traffic to the EC2 instances, which are in fact uh, the HTTPS and uh, so for to perform the actual SSL encryption, you can offload it to the cloud HSM uh, using SSL acceleration. So that's supported by the NGI Enix Apache uh, or the Apache web servers and the IIS for the Windows server. And the idea is that the cloud HSM device in the backend will be one performing the SSL acceleration or offloading for your EC2 instances and that will save up some valuable resources for your EC2 instances. So that's a very classic solution architecture as well. Uh, so extra level of security is that the SSL private key will never leave the hardware security module device, HSM device. And uh, so it's uh, extra secure. The only way to make this work is to set up a cryptographic user. So cryptographic users see you uh, on the cloud HSM device and make sure so you are not able to see uh, this one this cloud HSM this is the multi AZ that's being hidden from my uh, view uh, so uh, like uh, cryptographic user so cryptographic user on the cloud HSM device can and make sure your EC2 instances can use up that user and work with that user uh, that that is going to be stored. Uh, so, or for example, like the, you can store the username and password on the SSM parameter store. So you are quite uh, like you can have so many ways of doing this architecture. But uh, using the cloud HSM SSL offloading is one of the most secure and uh, one of the most handy as well uh, in comparison. Uh, so this is the probably something new for you, and I wanted to show you it to you. Uh, so this. That's it for this lecture and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.